Okay, today I'm going to show you a short video on how I make my um, copper and sticky resin in order to make to use my uh, copper wire contraption downstairs. Um, first of all, I'm going to remove this lapis lazuli. And I'm going to realize that I forgot my uh, seed pieces here in order to convert them. I'm going to grab some sticky resin and some copper. And I'm warping around because I'm lazy and I don't feel like running. Alright, so what I have in here some stuff that I'm going to use as energy in order to make enough of the stuff I need. I need six stacks of copper blocks. That's 54 copper ingots. So I'm going to start out by sticking them in here and we can watch the lapis lazuli quickly converting into copper. Um, I will have enough probably very shortly. One, two, three. Let's just see how long it takes here. It doesn't take very long to get everything I need. That's one. Six of them. Um, that's another one. All right, I'm going to use this tungsten ore. Tungsten is actually worth about two diamonds um, in EMC value. Um, so we're going to throw a red in there and watch it just make our, our make copper. Uh, I don't have quite enough. So I'm going to use a piece of red matter. Red matter, as you can see, is worth a lot. Okay. Now I'm going to convert this back into lapis lazuli just to have less crap in there. As I make my copper blocks, I just make them copper blocks just to make it easier to carry. Um, I'm actually going to convert them back into ingots when I put them in the chest. Good lord. Didn't realize this this video is probably going to be long now. Um, other than energy collected from the sun, um, a lot of the uh, energy in here is just com being converted back and forth from matter. I mean, this red matter is all condensed from the gem of eternal density, um, which we have feeding. It's being fed with uh, tree farms and uh, wheat, sugar cane, and cactus farms. Uh, it all keeps it pretty steadily fueled. Uh, in order to, you know, keep a steady supply of red matter. I mean, I had, I had eight of them on me. I have nine in a chest somewhere else, and there's like thirteen down in, the, down in the chest right now. So, we have plenty of energy stored as matter. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because when I u when I do the uh, sticky resin, it's going to completely fill this chest. Completely. Sticky resin has a very low EMC value, uh, which is kind of funny because rubber does not have an EMC value. Uh, 
metal, so I can't convert this straight into rubber. I have to make it into sticky resin and extract it. But I get three rubber for every sticky resin, so totally worth it. There you go. Filling up the chest. I only need 36 of these. And the chest is full. Once the chest is full, it's not going to do anything uh, with the extra energy. It's just going to hold on to it. So I'm going to grab 36 of these. I can only carry 26 right now, so I'm going to use my alchemist bag. Throw these in there. Can look at all the wonderful crap that I carry around with, my, with me all the time. Uh, we need 10 more. And that's it. Um, we're going to go back to converting lapis lazuli. Just so we have room in this chest. Uh, later. Oh, suddenly it's dark. Alright, now we're going to run back downstairs. And I'm actually not going to warp this time because I, I'm i not feeling lazy for some reason. Uh, and we're going to go down to the contraption. Um, I have it here set up in two switches. Uh, the first switch, as you can see, runs this engine and this electrical engine. Uh, the reason I have it as an electrical engine here is so that I can keep up with the output of this engine um, because electrical engines pull stacks of stuff um, out of whatever they're pulling out of. So we're going to go ahead and fill this chest with sticky resin. Um, hold that. Including the stuff that was in our bag. All of this is going to go in there. It will all eventually come out and get pushed through the extractor, but that's okay. That is what we want. So, that's all done. I can turn this side on. Um, I actually want to build up a buffer uh, of rubber uh, because I actually have four uh, redstone engines hooked up to this chest pulling rubber out um, and two I just got stuck two redstone engines pulling out of this chest which is full of copper uh, you can hear the extractor going now um, anyway I'm going to pull out my copper here so that I can fill my chest with it. Um, I normally let the I normally let this thing run for about 10 or 15 minutes before I even well, probably not that long. I, l I let it run until until the uh, redstone engine here is at least green. Uh, because then it'll then it'll be fast enough to keep a buffer of rubber inside the rubber chest here. Um, so that my four redstone engines pulling out of here don't outperform what's going on over here. So we're going to let that run for a minute. And you can see here the... Uh, I have overclocker upgrades in the extractor to make it extremely fast. Um, we have two transformer upgrades because we're running off of high voltage. Um, if I didn't have these transformer upgrades, if I and I tried to run this extractor on high voltage, it would explode. Uh, but you can see the extractor goes very fast and with the electrical engine there it pulls out all three rubber all at once to push it into this chest so since we have a little bit in here 
I'm going to go ahead and turn on the other half here. Uh, this redstone, uh, this switch is powering all the rest of the engines in this room. You can see it's pulling out four rubber at a time and two copper at a time. It's all being pushed into this automated crafting table. Uh, the automated crafting table is nice because um, what I have in here right now will never be pulled out. Um, this redstone engine right here is set to pull um, completed recipes out of the crafting table. Um, and it will do so until there's nothing left. I mean, it will never, it will never pull the base recipe out. So there it goes, pulls one out. Um, I have a distribution pipe here. Um, the reason for that is that I want to make sure that each chest gets filled completely, um, and it doesn't get stuff doesn't pop out. Why is stuff popping out? Oh! Because they're full. Well, either way. Um, this is how it works. Um, eventually the redstone engines will heat up and they will pump faster. Uh, it takes about an hour for it to go through that entire stack of sticky resin um, and actually you know depending on when I start it when I start the second half um, is really what what makes it take longer uh, once the sticky resin is done being extracted I can turn that side off I don't have to worry about it and the rest of it We'll go until it's done. It's really late. I should do something about going to bed. Anyway, and that is my uh, copper wire contraption. And uh, you can see here I've set the distribution pipe just the yellow and white, which is the direction it goes. Um, the only reason I'm standing here is because so I can pick it all up. So that's it. I'm going to turn everything off here before I go because I don't need all this copper wire right now. Oh, here you go. You can see the redstone engine already started to heat up and it goes so much faster. Um, that's the main reason I have all the overclocker upgrades in the extractor. So it can keep up with the redstone engine pumping at full speed. Anyway, thanks for watching.